In 2016, the Lagos State Government set up a 25 billion naira employment trust fund to grant loans to entrepreneurs and business owners in the state. In January, the first set of beneficiaries were awarded. Here are some of the entrepreneurs and their journey so far. Hi, my name is Sauda Salami. I'm the founder of EasyShopEasyCook.com. We are an online grocery delivery company. We deliver fresh produce to homes and offices around Lagos State. We started about um, in 2005 and fully became fully incorporated in 2010. We started this business when we realized that the working woman had challenges in balancing home and um, work life. And going to the office every day and also going to the market in Lagos traffic is, 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 is too much. It was hectic. A number of them could not balance it and they couldn't, um, they had to leave their career. Some of them would delay it, some of them would leave it. And having a tech background, I realized that I could set up a business that would help the woman pursue her career and not feel guilty about um, the basic domestic responsibilities. Well, we started funding from LSETF because we wanted to expand our business. We, we had obligations with third party platforms to supply them fresh produce. Then because we also buy from smallholder farmers and processors, we need to have uh, enough working capital to buy bulk from them. So when this opportunity came with LSETF, it was, it was a good one. The LSETF, the LSETF funding, um, the impact on my business is I, I was able to access cheap funds without having collateral. And also it was easy, I didn't have to know anybody to access the LSETF fund. So that, that, that was good for us as a small business. What I know, what do I know now? I will say that is what I believed would be good. When the fund was announced by the governor, I knew since that a number of things he said he was going to do, he has done. I knew that this will also go that, that route. And keeping my books in order and making sure that I, I was professional as a businesswoman, I knew that I would be able to access the fund and that was what happened. I didn't have, I did, about the program I didn't have any doubts. I knew that, I saw the criteria, I knew that I had what it, uh, everything that they, uh, they asked for. But what happened was uh, I didn't get my funding initially. That was because there was a delay. I found out later on there was a delay. I, and at that time, I doubted that maybe one of the criteria I, 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 that I thought I had, I didn't have. But I found out that they, ha they had a lot of work to do that was why my funding was delayed but it was I it wasn't it wasn't difficult getting it at the end of the day I just got my alert that my funding had been approved my advice to business owners small business owners that seek LSDF funding is for them to ask to know that it is easy to access you don't need to know anybody you don't need to have any collateral but please access it only if you need it and you intend on returning it so that other SMEs can have access to it so that you also can go back to borrow it again because if you do not return it then you you destroy the the project and other states will not be able to to copy it we need other states to replicate this so that smes across the country will have access to cheap funds without collateral and we can you know build our businesses let me show you a typical day at easy shop easy cook because we're a multi-platform company and a number of our uh, orders come online and through phone. Um, here, we expect all the mails, all the um, orders to come in, either by phone, by on, through our website, um, emails. Then, of course, we have the accounts. And we also have the procurement. She makes sure that everything is fresh whenever we buy, we buy that. So I'm going to take you now to the processing area because we are customized. So everything the customer wants, we make it easy for them to chop, um, to cook after a hard day's work. This is uh, the IT and the warehouse. He's in charge of all the stock in the office and make sure that um, everything is um, in check. So let's go and see the processing unit where we are chopping and grating and grinding. This is where the girls work. You know, they do all the hard work. What we want to do is to make sure that you do not have to do any work when you get back from the office. They are peeling the shower. It's our job to make sure that we have peeled it so that you don't have to do that after work. 
um, the vegetables, they're going to pick that. Everything is fresh, it's frozen. We pack it, we chop it, we grate it. We do everything that is required so that when you get back from the office, your cooking time is reduced by almost 50%. You know, you don't have to do anything. They are, they are, they are chopping the, the ugu, they are grating, they are packing, they, they are scaling the fish. We need to scale the fish for you. We will cut it, we will scale it. So when you get back from the office, everything is easy for you. You know, we do everything here. We do not outsource our processing anyway. We don't outsource it. Your beans, we have picked it. The pepper, we have ground it if you want. Then of course we deliver it in uh, all the frozen items that are delivered in our coolers. We need to deliver it in the cooler so that they are fresh. And we use crates for our vegetables because that is the international standard for that. And we also we try to reduce all the packaging um, so that we can save, we can be as green as possible. So when we deliver your food, we bring them in crates. Then we help you to arrange them in, 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 in your pantry because we do not want to give you nylons that are useless to you afterwards. We want everything, we take back everything. They are all well packed in, in our crates. Then when we bring them to your house, we take them back so that you have little waste. We do not want to add to the waste. Everybody's talking about climate change now and trying to reduce, recycle. So that's what we're trying to do. Everything, all the frozen items will be in the coolers and all the fresh food will be there. We, we do everything. You can see the local boom there because we don't want you to stress yourself. We supply you with everything you need. After a hard day work, just concentrate on your on your office and we will do all the shopping for you. So, so that is how we, we, we are a typical day. Then of course when we finish, uh, the delivery team takes it to the, to the home. That's a typical day in the shop. Are you a Lagos entrepreneur and need a funding for your business? Please visit lsetf.ng for more details on how to apply today.